as a man you just pulled down your borsa is it that you're trying to urinate or you want to wash the borsa and you notice that your borsa usually smells like urine it's possible you have an overreactive bladder and for the ladies don't think you are left out when you go to the gym you want to you meet your gym instructor you're like oh i want to increase my hip size i want to increase my bum bum i just want to get this big or eight shape you start exercising have you ever asked your gym instructor for a pelvic exercise when considering boosting your hips increasing your hip size have you ever considered working on your pelvic muscles hmm. good to everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is Messi Mary, popularly known as a nurse with a difference, and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be sharing some little lights about Kegel exercise, who should actually involve in Kegel exercise, and also what are the benefits of Kegel exercise. But before we go into details into this class, if you are new on our YouTube channel and these are content you are interested in, please click on that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nurse Messi Mary saying thank you. Let's go there. All right, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you about Kegel exercise. Like I earlier said at the beginning, Kegel exercise is very good and it's important. First of all, I just want to let you know that Kegel exercise helps to improve sex. Yes, it helps to improve sexual performance generally. Let me explain why it helps to improve sexual performance. So for example, as a lady, when you do Kegel exercise, it increases blood flow to your pelvic area. It increases blood flow down there. And definitely when there's an increased blood flow to your genitalia, there's an increased blood flow to your pelvic areas, your vagina is likely going to lubricate more. It's going to release a lot of lubricants. And when there's an, a lot of lubricants being released, Definitely, penetration is going to be easy and sex is going to be more fun. And for the men, same thing applies to you. Definitely, when there's increased blood flow to the lower genitalia, there's an increased blood flow to um, the pelvic region, definitely erections might last longer than you think. At the very beginning, when you start Kegel exercise, you might not see the results. Yes, but when you are consistent and persistent with it, definitely you are going to see the result. so that's the first thing i want you to take note of for those that are having issues like enjoying sex and sex related activities you can try kegel exercise for much lubrications especially for the female and for the men that are having over reactive bladder the kegel exercise gives you an opportunity to control the muscles it's going to help you stop that overreactive bladder or manage that overreactive bladder in such a way that you have control over the muscles down there. Outside sex and having um, overreactive bladder, anything that puts stress on your pelvic floor is likely going to make it weak and is unable to support the organs around it. You get it's going to make the muscles weak they, are, they will not be able to support the organs that are in your pelvic region any longer so you can see if you are involving in anything that is putting stress on your pelvic floor definitely kegel exercise is an option that you should take into consideration there are some medical conditions there are some conditions there are some lifestyle events that put stress in your pelvic floor muscles i'm going to be analyzing today so the first one is pregnancy yes pregnancy pregnancy generally puts stress on the pelvic floor muscles that is why kegel exercise is very important so the muscles and the pelvic regions are not weak so when you are pregnant and you involve yourself in kegel exercise it's going to make delivery especially through um, the vaginal delivery easy and it's going to give you control over your pelvic floor muscles you can imagine that it's going to give you control over your pelvic floor muscles it's going to also help with bladder control it will help you to control your bladder very well it's going to help with urinary incontinence it's going to help pushing during vaginal delivery it's going to help perineal healing after delivery and it's going to help in strengthening of muscles that support the weight of the fetus so that is why it is encouraged for pregnant women to also involve in kegel exercise but in all when exercising do as your strength can carry you because you have somebody 
inside of you that is relying on you for oxygen for nutrients for blood flow and everything you can think about but in all also kegel exercise is important for pregnant women and it makes delivery much easier because they have control over the muscles the second is childbirth Childbirth is not only just the vaginal delivery, also cesarean section. Because some women, after childbirth, they complain that, oh, sex is no longer fun, lubrication is difficult, a lot of things went wrong. But with Kegel exercise, it's going to make you have control over the muscles and it's going to make things easy and swiftly. Then the third condition is obesity and being overweight. Having a BMI above 25 might put pressure, might put stress on your pelvic floor muscles. So if you're obese, you are overweight, it's advisable you do some Kegel exercise so that the muscles down there, the pelvic floors, are not weakened. Then the fourth condition I have to share with you is surgery in your pelvic area. So if you've had surgery done down there in your pelvic region, it's advisable to take Kegel exercise into consideration. And the other one is aging. Yes, when you age, when you old, your muscles become weakened, your muscles become tired. But with Kegel exercise, it's able to tighten up, it's able to become stronger than it used to be. Then the sixth one is excessive straining while pulling or chronic coughing. So if you are having constipation, Kegel exercise can go a long way to help. Uh, personally, as an individual, I've experienced it. I was having constipation and things like that. I involved myself in Kegel exercise, take some fruit, and it was much easier to go to, to pass through fecal matter, for fecal matter to pass through. So if you're having chronic constipation, you're having constipation, it's advisable to also consider Kegel exercise. Like I earlier said, it gives you control over the muscles down there. And if you are exercising, you are running, you are jumping, you are lifting up heavy things, it's advisable to put Kegel exercise among your exercise. If you are lifting, all those weight lifter, it's advisable you put Kegel exercise, attach it to those your normal exercise that you usually do. Because those exercises actually put strain, they actually put stress on the pelvic floor muscles. So when you go to the gym next time, you want to build your body, your hips, your muscles, things like that. I think you should have some minutes of Kegel exercise. Talk to your gym instructor. It is better for you to get this Kegel exercise supervised by a trained gym instructor. Because sometimes you might be doing this Kegel exercise wrongly without you knowing. Yes, that's one thing you know. But if you've done it under a trained um, gym instructor, you are now familiar with it. You can go home and start doing it yourself. But at the very beginning, what I advise, even if after, if what I advise is for you to meet up with a trained gym instructor, practice with him, get used to the various moves, and when you get to him, you can start trying it. All right. So this is what I have to share with you today about Kegel exercise, and I hope it is beneficial. So thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is not Messy Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.